welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so happy to be with you. You are in my home office with me as I work from home today, right before our 4th of July holiday here in the U.S. For those of you who are in the U.S., happy 4th. Um, tell us where you're all from as you're starting to come into the room and say hello in the comments. It's nice to see each other and to hear from each other. Lavender says hi, Anne says hi. GB, is that Great Britain? Joshua says hi, nice to see you, Joshua. Lavender, you're from Michigan, nice, nice, nice. I love hearing where we're all from. As you may know, I'm from the Boston area and I am, my office is located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and I have a healing collaborative practice holistic healing practice and I work in a beautiful Victorian building but today you're with me in my home office and I'm in the metro suburban urban area of Boston like many people that live and work around here it's a beautiful day outside we have some mm, like hazy smoky weather today I think it might still be related to the forest fires in Canada that are coming down but it's a beautiful warm sunny day Oh, nice, Las Vegas, awesome. California, awesome. So I'll just wait another minute or two for folks to start streaming in and saying hello, and then we will get started. Uh, if you've been here before with me, welcome back. It's always nice when we can gather and do this together in our community, and if you're new, welcome. So I'll go through my little preamble first, and then we'll get started. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me just take a sip of water here. So as you know, my name is Laura West. I am a holistic healing practitioner. I am a three-time Reiki master. I'm an herbalist and I'm also a psychic medium and a channel for the divine. And here in this capacity, I come every month and I share with you messages from the Council of Light. They are the group that I channel, I've been channeling them since 2012-ish, and I have a vast database of their channeled messages. If you would like to connect with me beyond um, this immediate live session, please just visit my link in my bio here in Insight Timer. That's all we're allowed to say. Insight Timer really likes us to stay inside our community here, and I am happy to honor that. So, and I'm also happy to be here in this format with you. So the reason they come through this public live format is um, a way for them to connect with humanity at large. And also it's my way as um, somebody who is really honored to do this work, to give back to my community and to give back to um, like a gratitude process, I suppose. So I enjoy channeling them and sharing their messages. So I'm gonna close my eyes and let them come through and share whatever they would like to share. And then when I'm done, I'll open my eyes and we'll have a little bit of a debrief as to um, like a wrap up of what it was like for us, what you thought, what it brought to mind for you, and a little bit of um, encapsulation on my end. And then we will say goodbye. And as always, also, if you are moved at any point to share any gratitude um, the hearts are lovely. I always get a lot of joy when I see the hearts, so please keep those coming. <laughs> Thank you so much. There they go. And also, if anybody feels moved to make a monetary donation, you're welcome to do that too, but it's not expected. It's nice to have a tithing budget here in this community so that we can share a dollar or two um, throughout the month with the different teachers and practitioners that are sharing our content so freely and um, out of our hearts. It's, I've had so many wonderful experiences um, in my own personal journey here. I've been meditating here uh, since like 2009 before it was even in this particular iteration that it is in now. And there's just some wonderful members of this community that are sharing their meditative and teacher experiences in these free fashions. So anyway, all right, here we go. I'm going to close my eyes and get started. Please settle in, sit back, relax. You can close your eyes if you like. You can take notes, put on headphones, whatever you need to do to chill out. And we shall begin. Whew. Greetings to you all, you bright, blessed beings there on that earth plane. We are the Council of Light and we are here once again to say hello 
and to share our words of wisdom with you, as you may well know. We've been coming to you diligently in your space-time continuum of monthly fashion. Some of you have individual private sessions with us in a different capacity, but in this particular format here in this group, we speak to you at large about all of the topics and treasures of information that we share with you each month when we come to dialogue and give you a discourse. So today's topic is about relaxation and play. For most of you know that as adults, you get very busy with your to-do lists of your lives. You balance your families, you balance your work, you balance the busyness of your checklists on a day-to-day -day basis, and you tend to put to the side the things that bring you a lot and lots and lots of joy. Many of you forget to partake in long-term hobbies that bring you sustenance and nourishment in your creativity. We see that many of you in this arena are exercise aware and healthy aware, and you may envision your movement routines, such as your yogic practices or your running practices or your bicycling practices as health and fitness practices. But we would also like to invest in an idea and a concept that is one of creativity you will sometimes approach your tasks of exercising, for example, as checking it off the to-do list. But if you decide to join a group that is exercising in whatever the format is that you enjoy, you might begin to notice there is a social component that you are introduced to in the collective experience that was not present before that you have an added layer of enjoying now because you're not singularly doing the routine. We say exercise as the example, but this could be any number of things. It could be your meditative experiences or your mindfulness experiences or your sacredness connection experiences. Many of you are really good at isolating these experiences for yourselves when it feels like a task to complete on each day, checklist, gold star, etc. And you have stepped away from that spontaneity and that playfulness energy that was present for you when you were younger, certainly as children, or in your young adult years as you were blossoming into adults and moving into your spaces of adulthood. As adults grow more and more accustomed to their adult lives with the routines and the structures and the organizations of the asset formations, you pay the bills, you have the cars, you own the homes, you take the vacations, and so on and so on you have rubrics for when those things occur in your lives, this month, this week, this weekend, all those kinds of things. When was the last time that you ever just said upon waking up one morning, I'm going to make today a spontaneous day. I'm going to take the day off from work and I'm going to travel far, get in my car and drive, or travel on the public transportation and just go and see where I end up. Chances are very many of you as adult humans don't do that very often. And we don't mean to suggest that you need to do this tomorrow because it might not be practical. We understand that you have obligations and requirements and other people in your lives that you can't just uproot yourselves from and let go of. For example, for those of you who are parents to children or parents to animals, you cannot just leave them high and dry for an extended period. You do need to plan. But the quality of what we're talking about is more the idea of our concept today. So we would invite you as adult humans to begin to bring in a more spontaneous 
and freedom-like quality that you have not been able to bring in before that has been mostly lacking for the majority of grown-ups. So perhaps in the coming week, you may take some time to go to a nature space, a park or a forest or a wooded trail. And you may not go there for the express understanding of completing an exercise routine or completing the rubric of the painting that you're doing if you're an artist, but maybe you just go and you lounge and you read a book or you meet a friend and you just stroll with no end of ambition, but to stroll as the destination. <laughs> it's very important that you cultivate this balance of playfulness and openness and spontaneity and creativity in your lives in different ways, just like you create the routines and the structures and the organization, because it's like two scales and they need to be evenly balanced so that your life is completely whole and in a rubric of evenness as much as possible. Humanity is full of strife and stress and anxiety and worry and fear. That's part of the human existence. And the more you can unplug from that paradigm, the more you can replug into your joy and your creativity and your spontaneity, it begins to even out and let go of the tension that is energetically stored in the heart center, in the throat center, in the neck and shoulders, in the mind, all those places that stress gets stored. And so as we were talking to you today about this concept of bringing in more spontaneity and bringing in more clarity and bringing in more play, you might do an exercise. Perhaps it is a mental exercise where you close your eyes and you listen to your heart's desires or you ask your soul's knowingness, what could I do that is spontaneous and joyful and playful? And you will listen for the answers. Or maybe it's a journaling exercise. For those of you who have a meditative quality of experience or a contemplative reflective quality of experience, the next time you sit in that zone, prepared to be meditative or reflective or contemplative, perhaps you will journal and write down for yourselves a list of ideas of places you've always wanted to visit or things you've always wanted to do that bring no other value but happiness and joyfulness. It's one thing to have joy in tackling a task in the house. Say, for example, redecorating a room or finishing off a backyard project. But that is a task that is goal-oriented and is completion activated. We are not talking about those kinds of tasks, even though they may bring you joy. We're talking about the kind of tasks that are completely unscripted, that have no end formation. Maybe you spend an afternoon at a pond. Maybe you go for a weekend to the beach and you're simply there to enjoy the environment and see what unfolds. Maybe you spend time, if you live a very scripted, very rubric very full life, doing nothing on the couch but reading a book or reading a magazine. It's very important that you ebb and flow through pockets of this spontaneous creativity and pockets of focus in your lives. And as adults, most of you get into these routines with the pockets of focus that become ever more clear and systemized and sharply focused and organized so that you might notice a span of years goes by and you've been very highly productive in your work. You've been very highly productive in your organizing of the home systems. You've been very productive in the organizing of raising and rearing the children or the pets. And then you realize, wait, when was the last time I went out for fun? When was the last time I met a friend for no reason but to have a joyful conversation? Those are the moments that need to be built back in on a more frequent basis. And so we leave you with that awareness today. We leave you with that contemplation today. We give you some specific examples, but your mind can run farther. You know what is best for you in your lives. You know what brings you the spontaneous joy. 
Maybe it is building a campfire in the small courtyard of your apartment complex in the shared outdoor camping, um, uh, campfire uh, space. Maybe it's walking to the other end of your metropolitan neighborhood instead of taking the same bus route going from A to B. And as you're walking through your metropolitan neighborhood, you're stopping in side streets and exploring new shops and cafes that you never knew existed and yet they're within the three or four mile radius of where you live. See, there are endless possibilities for you. And so with that, we are very succinct and very clear today that it is time to bring back more creativity, more spontaneity, and more joy, particularly in this season of sunshine and warmer weather and relaxed routines for many of you that are listening to our message today. And with that, we will say thank you. We are gonna keep this short and sweet so you can get off to your routines of just that. <laughs> we are the Council of Light and we wrap you in a golden blanket of light to nourish you and sustain you and hold you ever so tight until we are to speak to you again in our next fashion, one month's time from now. And we look forward to the in-between and watching and noticing as you apply any of what we've shared with you today into actionable steps. Thank you for listening to our words. We wish you many blessings. Goodbye for now. Adieu and namaste. Oh, very lovely. So I am welcome back. This is Laura again. What a nice idea they have left us with there. I really like how clear that was. Sometimes if you've been to these events with me before, sometimes the Council of Light speak for quite a while and they have several ideas under a main umbrella theme and they tangent a little bit, but today was very focused on the joyfulness. And I know that I can apply that to my life um, in specific. I tend to be somebody who's very good at maximizing my routines. I am very successful at everything I do. I'm seasoned with several decades under my belt and I've had a lot of life experience with understanding how to raise a family and take care of a house and create abundance in my work. And I sometimes don't leave myself enough permission to be spontaneous, get in the car and drive, kick off my shoes and sit with a, deck, a stack of magazines in an afternoon. <laughs> Uh, I, I can admit that. So I, I take this message to heart just as much as any of the rest of you may as well. So, all right, my loves, it's been such a joy to be with you today. And I look forward to the next time that I am going to see you. Just as a footnote, for those of you who come to these regularly, they, you know that they are on the first Saturday of every month and they're at four o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Just a heads up for you that next month is gonna be a little bit early. I need to squeeze it into the end of July because the beginning of August is full for me. And if I wait until we are already in August, it's gonna to be too late into the middle of August. And then that will create a crunch for us as I look forward to September. You see my maximization mind, I'm already pre-planned with my events way far ahead. <laughs> That's how I can make sure that I get everything done in my life that I need to get done. But I will put up a notice. Um, I usually like to go in after these live events are over and set up the next live event for you all. So it'll probably be um, at the end of July. So look for that. And if you're interested in connecting with me beyond this live event, just visit the bio link on my um, Insight Timer profile here and you can stay connected with me in other fashions. I have a holistic healing practice and I do lots of things and I am here today in this format channeling the Council of Light with you all. And of course, I have loved every minute of it. You're welcome. I'm seeing so many thank yous coming through. It's always lovely to see the thank yous. I really appreciate this space with you all and I love that we get to gather in this community in this way together. It brings me a lot of joy. This is a very special community full of lots of lovely people and it brings me happiness to do this on a regular basis. So with that, I will say adios. I will say goodbye for now and many blessings.